Hi, and welcome back to part two of why DeMarco is so underrated. So far in the previous video, I've covered things this like the politics that goes on in Dancehall, the fact that he doesn't have an album, and also the change of image and how that's affecting his current performance. Now we're going to talk about something else that could have caused a problem for him, and that is his TV series, Talk Your Mind. Let's get into it. Now in 2014, during, you know, the whole transformation of DeMarco, you know, with the image, he then dropped Good Book and then he dropped his web series, Talk Your Mind. And, you know, when it first came out, it was crazy, like, it was the talk of the town. Everybody was watching this. I, I didn't know anyone who wasn't watching this web series. It was hilarious. You know, you had Richie Feelings in there just completely, you know, killing it. It was hilarious and jovial. But what was quite nice is that it gave a unique experience, a perspective that not many people had. So, you know, you get to see the studio yard, you get to see, you know, the behind the scenes and just, it, it, it looked really fun. And then after a few months it started to become sinister you know they kept picking it well it felt like they were picking on different artists and you know kind of styling them in in somewhere or another and hyping on them and you know just being quite derogatory and you know if you think about it these people whether anyone wants to admit it or not they are co-workers <laughs> you know they're all in the, the music industry together they're co-workers and they're gonna be working with the same producers more than likely you know they're gonna see each other when they're, they're flying out to their shows and things like that and you know for some some of the times it just felt like you know the people on the show that they had you know talk in their mind it, it felt like they were attacking certain artists I remember at the time 2014 that's when you know alkaline came around and you know tattooed eyeballs and whatever um, and they they literally gave him hell and it, it, it just felt like an attack and then with conscience you know I think even a big bust up came between conscience and DeMarco and you know conscience was saying I just feel like you're taking set on me and you know you can't do that because he's almost like conscious was saying you're you're ruining the code of conduct here you know you don't do that to another artist and you know it ended up being turned into like a joke clash which I wouldn't even call it a clash it just felt like a bully beating up somebody that was smaller than him and you know he did a diss song for conscience which to be honest that the diss song was actually well put together lime chip I think the song's called you should listen to it it's actually really good but it was unnecessary because I, I didn't see what the point of attacking him was, you know, it, it just never made sense. So, you know, as the, the, the series progressed, they, you know, they chose different artists to, you know, kind of make fun of. And then it stopped becoming progressive. It, it stopped becoming interesting. It just felt like they were fighting other artists and, you know, making fun of them, which isn't okay. It became bullying. Um, and you know that's never okay um, but then what started to happen you know towards 2015 early 2016 all the people that they were you know kind of making fun of you know at one point there was like DJ Frass in there and you know he was being you know you know styling him a certain way um, he he was just being really horrible towards them and now in 2016 they are kind of the the people that are winning so it, it became that they weren't able to say much about anyone else and I think that created a big problem for him because the moment that he felt like he was on top it would seem to suggest that he started to trample on other people and no one is going to respect that so I think as far as his public appeal you have a bunch of men you know sort of sitting down chatting other men it comes across as effeminate it comes across as not very manly you know especially in Jamaican context you know that's something that you know they will annihilate you for that shit you just don't do it and yet here was a bunch of men just tracing other men 
So, you know, the whole productive, look at studio time, look at how I produce mu my music, look at how much, even to the fact of look how much girls I can get. There was none of that in there. And that's kind of the thing that people look at when they look at a, a, a dance or artist. They look at the hype, they look at the girls, they look at the money, they look at the flashiness. You weren't seeing that, you were seeing a bunch of men just chatting other men. And surely that would have caused some of the problems because now I think the streets have the Marco as a mix up man <laughs> which you know it, it it that is gonna be something hard for him to recover from. So in conclusion, the Marco may have burnt his bridges with some of the other artists due to the content of his web series. Um, and I think that has caused him some street credibility because it may make other people really reluctant to work with him or be associated with him due to you know the, the high level of gossip that was in his TV program um, but separate and aside from that let's conclude on a good note it's really unusual to have a dancehall artist be so multi-talented you know you don't necessarily see someone building their own beats and then going back to engineer it to to write his own songs and 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 just to do the whole thing from scratch and then have their own media company he is the first of his kind and i think to some extent before his time and people are not understanding it so much um i think for me personally what i would like to see from demarco you know i am a fan of his music I would like to see him focus it just a bit more and kind of stay out of the beef and the war and just focus on his music because I think he has something special. He's just, it, I mean, it would seem to suggest that he is not actually channeling in a way that is very effective. So that's what I would like to see and I would love to see an album from him. So that is it for me everyone. If you think that this review is fair, please give video a thumbs up if you thought that i missed something or if i've miscommunicated something then comment and if you want to hear more from me then please remember to subscribe